If I wasn't doing music, I would have gone after being a professional athlete. Actually, I tried it and I failed. I went to Olympic trials and then got like seventh. And they only take three in an alternate to the actual Olympics, so I was just like bummed. So, yeah. I started with Vine. Um, my buddy Batch was on Vine and he started Vining one day. And then one day me and him shot a skit. And then that skit kind of like hit with World Star and it was just hitting every day. So all Viners all over the country and the world started doing skits. So we started like a new culture, just doing skits on Vine and it just became a thing. The first skit we did on Vine was, I think it was a State Farm skit. It was like, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And then um, with my, I bet you my homie could work. So I popped up as my boy's homie. And then the girl was like, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And then this big dude popped up and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I guess uh, it was just like some funny skit. I think that was the first skit, but we should do more intellectual skits back in the day. Then we realized the Vine audience was a little dumber than we thought. So we had to start dumbing the skits down and knocking into things and shit to make it work. My personal favorite Vine is uh, it's called um, Alien Abduction. It was a lot of work. I had to turn the whole fucking room sideways and, and um, build out everything sideways and made it look like I flew up off the bed, like I got abducted by aliens. So when you turn the camera back, you know, right side up, it looked like I was floating. So that's probably one of my favorites. I, I, I have guilty pleasure artists. I like like world music, like Nico and Vins and stuff like that. Um, artists that people usually don't. I like like underground artists. Sometimes I'll just go to YouTube and just find somebody new that I that I listen to. Um, I, I don't know. I just I just like if it's good music, I like it. Sometimes Pandora or whatever will just help me find a new artist, or or SoundCloud, or I just turn on the radio and I hear it's like, hey, it's to do it too. Or I listen to you know something like that, and I'm like, oh, let me see who this is. And then if I like it, I bump it. I don't I don't discriminate. My dream collaboration musically will probably be Kanye West. Because you know he has, he, Kanye West is just like no filter, and I like that shit. You know I like when nobody has a filter and they just want to just do whatever. So, I, you know he, I was a fan of him when he had like dope tracks coming up and stuff. I, I remember when I was watching like old stuff when he was an artist, like a teenager on stage doing. It. So he's been around a long time, you know. Um, and then just you know he paid his dues, and some people look at him in a certain light. But I just know that I could probably make something dope with him. So there's a lot of things my fans don't know about me. Like I fucking I could juggle. You know, like just stupid shit like that. You know, like I don't know, like uh, uh, um, like I I, I got the uh, Buffy DVD box set and shit. Just little little stupid shit like that. Like they're like, oh, you're a hip hop artist, or oh, he like he funny, or oh, he from the hood, so he don't do this. Like I watch Buffy, you know, like sometimes. Like that, that's funny. I would never tell. I'm standing here. This is the first time I ever said something like that. It's just funny as hell. Like you know, and I'm gonna tell you, can I go into this? This is how I, this is how I started watching that shit, man. I had a girlfriend, and her name was Isis. She was bad as fuck, right? And then I was, and she was like, yo. Um, you gotta see, you know how your girlfriend try to make you watch it? So I sat down and watched the first season, and the next thing you know, I was just like, this shit is written. I tried to make it seem like it was a different reason why I didn't like it. I was like, this shit was written well. This shit was just good. I was like, fuck it. So, um, yeah, you know, just a little stupid stuff like that. The Victory Dance came about, um, my boy T. Coase, he's a writer, he writes for like everybody. Um, if you name him, they on the radio, he probably wrote something for him, man. So he's a dope writer, and he said, yo, you know, you need to come up with something dope like like the victory dance. And he was like, walk about the club with your bitch in my hand. Oh, and then I was like, this shit is dope. The next thing you know, me and him, we just got in there and we just started writing it and we tried to make the hook so dope that it, it had like enough things that people could use in the vines. I said, she had money on her mind. I told her to do it for the vines. So we just started putting things in there that people use in the social media realm and it just started going crazy. Now it's like thousands and thousands of vines out using the victory dance. And I'm like, this shit is actually blowing up. So this is dope. The vision for the video is gonna just, I'm I'm gonna try to do like a one shot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off in the bleachers or whatever singing. I'm gonna go down and be checking out these badass cheerleaders and I wind up on the football field, catch a football, run, dodge some football players. It's just gonna be a one shot video where I'm just getting chased through the whole fucking video and people just doing a victory dance. It's gonna be sick. Uh, I like Vanessa, you know, Hudgens, that's my dash, my girl right there. We're gonna have babies. Um, she just don't know yet. I'm gonna tell you a crazy story. I, I went to, Girl Walks Into a Bar is a video that they did, um, I mean, a, a movie that they shot. And I was one of the social guys on there. And she was like, she walked in and then me and her did like a freestyle together. And I didn't know who she was at the time. I was like, this girl cute. So she went up there and she sits down or whatever. And we like actually had a date together. We didn't even know who each other was. So I was like, and then I, I posted a video on YouTube and all my fans started going crazy. I'm getting thousands and thousands of comments like, yo, that's Vanessa Hudgens. And I'm like, I didn't even know, you know, whatever. So, whatever. So, sorry, Vanessa, baby. I got you, hun. That's the creepy face. <laughs> I was starring a musical. I tried to build my brand like Will Smith, you know what I'm saying? People could still laugh at him, he could still save the fucking world. 
you know what I'm saying? And Snoop does that a lot too. Like Snoop's the type of dude that he could go to the hood, just go get respect from the gangs and then still dress up like a fucking avatar. And everybody was like, oh, that's just Snoop. You know what I'm saying? So when people look at my brand, it's the same way. Like they'll look at me, I'll do it. It's like I did a serious joint with Talib Kweli. People still respect it. Like he dropping bars and then I could come back and then just shoot a vine with a fucking wig on it. Like this dude, that's just they stormy, just being funny. You know, so I try to build my brand that way because there's certain artists that you, can, you just can't do that. They can't sit up there and just put a wig on. They, they should, their career be over. Like, ah, it'll be all over fucking TMZ and, and media takeout. But if I do it, they're like, oh, it's just they stormy being dumb, man. Let's go and get some fucking sushi. You know, whatever. So that's why I, I wanted to always build my brand in a way where people can just, I could still make a joke and then still be taken serious. My, my advice is, is a few things. Um, if you're trying to get into digital media and stuff, realize that there's a lot of money there. Um, don't let people tell you not to do it because in the beginning they're going to be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Share it with your friends. You know, um, a lot of times people will be like, oh, I don't want to show my cousin. They're going to think I'm a fool if I'm putting this out there because people feel dumb in the beginning. They feel like, um, you know, like vulnerable because they've given themselves to, to the world like that. But I would just say just do it. You know, and it's a lot of times it's not gonna work. I didn't try everything under the moon, from cooking shows to skits. You know, it doesn't matter until you find like your voice. Once you find your voice, you'll you'll find your own lane. That's why they call like it's called YouTube because you're giving yourself to do. Like, don't do what everyone else is doing, or find what's hot and then put yourself in it. And that's my advice. Collaborate. A lot of collaborations in social media, whether you're a Viner, YouTuber, or whether you're doing something in that realm. Even, you know, just like artists do, they collaborate on each other's songs. You might say, this is featuring this person, that person. It's the same way in digital media. You have to do collaborations to grow because you want their audience to see what you do, and that's how you continue to grow. People want to see you do what you do. That's why they follow you for who you are, you know? And a lot of times people are afraid. I mean, in the beginning, when I first put my first videos up, I was like, shit, people gonna judge. Because once you, you're vulnerable, because you're giving yourself to the world, and, and it's no filter. Especially if someone's hiding behind a fucking computer, they're gonna type shit like, kill yourself. I got comments, like, I, like the worst comment I ever got, they was like, take your ass back to Africa. I'm like, I'm from West Baltimore. Like, what do you want me to go back to Africa for? You know, like, but it's like, people go to leave those comments and stuff. You're gonna have haters on every, on every, every way to how you do something. So I'd rather be getting haters getting paid out the ass than to be, than nothing, right? Uh, my favorite social media platform right now is Shots. I like Shots because it's, no one can leave a comment. You know, it's in the moment. It's a little different from Instagram because like I, I follow my friends on shots and I see exactly what they're doing. There's times I'm in the bed and I think the night is over. If I look on Instagram, that shit could be a throwback Thursday. But on shots, it has to be done in the moment. So I'm looking, I'm like, oh, it's a party going on right now? They are actually at this party? So I like that. I like that element of shots. Um, I like Snapchat a lot too because it's also no comments that you could leave on there. And I just like to watch the stories of see what my people are doing throughout the day. So those are my two favorites right now. Um, Vine's coming in at Strong Third. What's up? It's your boy Day Storm Power. And now you know. Mr. Robert Wayne Footwear and Doc Martin.